97% of people won't be able to see this. That's a fact. I've been waiting for about two years to finally make this video and it's time. Oh. I hope you're ready for the best list that you have ever never seen. I'm gonna go through it one by one. We won't waste too much time with each movie. Just very quickly. Rapid fire. Why it's awesome, what it's about. Watch it till the end because this thing in the end is just... Je prends la AK-47 et je vais... <laughs> I'm so ready! 25th hour. Most people do not know about this movie. It's got Edward Norton. Ooh, Eddie Norton. Next time you pee on me. He's a drug dealer and he has to go to prison and he's got 25 hours to say bye to friends. It's sad. It's good. It's got Philip Seymour Hoffman. It's got Barry Pepper. What, what is your father salt? Next up. <laughs> Sucker Punch. Most people actually didn't get it, that this movie is like Inception. It's got several layers of reality. I know what it looks like. <laughs> you guys have all these women, but no, I, 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 I watched it for the pussy. Dios mio cabron. Uh, what's the director's name? Isaac. He can't do much, but he can do action. The action is... Whew. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leon the Professional. It's about a killer, and he has a kid that he's watching over, but... They become sex. So it's great, it's awesome, it's sad, it's beautiful. This next movie is called, <laughs> I, I don't want to say, <laughs> Karate Kid. And not the old one, the new one with uh, Jaden Smith. Uh, Jaden Smith, you know, the son of... Uh... Marquez Brownlee. Okay, hear me out why I love this movie so much. It's because this movie shows China and Beijing in particular in such a beautiful way. I can watch this movie and I feel like I'm in China. This is, movie makes me feel good. And also, Jackie Chan plays in the movie. I am the biggest Jackie Chan fan. I actually met Jackie Chan once. <laughs> no, just kidding. But I've been to China. Oh, 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 oh along came Polly. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a black sheep in this list. It's a shitty romantic comedy. I watch it for Jennifer Aniston because she's hot. She's hot. Next up on the list, Saw. The first one. The franchise has become a meme. It's dog shit, pseudo intellectual garbage. But the first movie, man, that plot twist, that that atmosphere, is good. It's good. And now, ho ho ho, no one knows about this one. Predestination. What can I say about this movie without spoiling it? I'm just telling you, watch it. It's the kind of mind fuck movie. Watch it to the end, and you'll be like, <laughs> it's it's Ethan Hawke, and he's an agent trying. To, to, um... No, 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 I can't, I can't say anything. It, it's science fiction, drama, mindfuck. These keywords. Then, one of an old classic. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. After you see this movie, you will feel like Logan Paul when he saw the dead guy in the suicide forest. You're gonna be happy, but it's fucked up. Yeah. It's fucked. Next up on the list, Saving Private Ryan. Man. It's one of those movies that's like three hours long, but it doesn't feel like three hours. I watched the fucking D-Day scene, yeah, and I'm like... Hat way! Absolute must-see. Now we move over to the British. Hot Fuzz. Yes, Hot Fuzz, kind of a classic. You know, nowadays everybody knows Hot Fuzz. Nothing really I can say about it. Comedy? Comedy action? Uh, British humor? Yeah. Schindler's List. In the end, it becomes a little bit too cult of personalities. Uh, very typical for American movies, yeah, the, because they have to squeeze, they squeeze. But this movie is so... Man, you have to watch it. Next up, American Psycho. First of all, Christian Bale is fucking awesome, and I actually met him, for real, on a set once, in China. That's a true story. So what? <sighs> Bitch. Plenty of memes. Dramatic, creepy, and of course, he's sexy as fuck. Christian Bale, come on. Shutter Island, oh boy. I love Shutter Island. It gets me every time. Looking for new clues. This guy gets on this island and he's a detective and he's trying to figure out what's happening on the island. Is it a human experiment? Is it a neo-Nazi doctor? And it's like, <laughs> is everyone a psycho? The Hateful Eight, man. This movie is like a theater. Stück, piece. A pe uh, 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 Stück uh, uh, in the theater. It's actually my favorite Tarantino movie to date. And I also learned the Listen to a moment American History X. Yes, indeed. It's good. It's fucking good. Really good. Eddie Norton, you again. Oh, Eddie Norton. Next time you pee on me. Too bad that the guy hasn't been doing any great movies recently. What's up with him? Oh, easy. 
ありがとうございます。Gravity! Oh my god! From the beginning to the very end, it's a crazy motherfucking ride. And Sandra Bullock, who is super hot ever since I found out that she can speak German fluently. Which man do? Oh, next one! Seven! The Seven Deadly Sins. Watch my Dark Siders review to find out this, about the Seven Deadly Sins. At that time, Brad Pitt was a, the bell of the ball. <laughs> and something that this movie does so well, it's not a violent movie. The violence is up here, not on the screen. Birdman is one of those movies where I'm like, yes, I love it, and it's one of my favorites, but I don't really know why. I can't really describe it. I just, I'm, I'm captivated by this pseudo one cut, one take kind of movie. Inception, I watched this movie in 2010 when I was in Norway, and then I watched it, and the next day I went again. <laughs> it's a masterpiece on like every level of existence. But it's mainstream to like it, so that's why people are like, oh. Now, Eddie Norton. <laughs> I don't even want to say it because it's like, so yeah, you know, this movie, de, de. yeah, it's fucked up, shut the fuck up. It's an amazing movie. It's great on a movie level because the, the, the story in the movie itself is awesome with a nice twist. And then the, let's just say it it may put some, it, it the, 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 the ideas that are voiced in that movie may challenge you to think about some stuff. Bottom line, you need a really high IQ to see this movie. <laughs> Next up, The Big Lebowski. Let me tell you something, pendejo. You put an idiot crazy shit, you flash a piece out on the lens, I take it away from you and stick it up your ass and pull the fucking trigger till it goes. Click. Yeah, this movie changed, I think, the way I look at movies because it is so amazing. And you know what sucks? You know what really sucks? When you watch a movie so many times that now you can't laugh at it anymore, you can't giggle, you know every line by heart, it just sucks. Now, Uhrwerk Orange, as they call it in the Deutschland, Clockwork Orange. Man, this movie is so deep, how do I know it? Because I don't get it. <laughs> Yeah, real talk. I, but I did read um, at least three analysis online. I I, I get it now. I... Hi IQ. This one is a classic, The Truman Show, man. But it kind of sucks. It's one of those movies that you cannot unwatch because once you've seen it, for the next few days you're gonna be paranoid as fuck. The guy lives in a world and his life is a show. <laughs> oh, The Departed. One evil mafia guy is undercover at the police and one good police guy is undercover at the mafia. And they try to, you know, they try to get each other. Leonardo DiCaprio, Mad Damon, and sprinkle some Mark Wahlberg on top. It's funny, it's quick, it's exciting. Yeah. There will be blood. I watched when I was a kid and I was like, what a what does the total scheiß? Then 10 years passed or five and I watched it again and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Masterpiece. One guy is an oil tycoon. The other guy is a uh, priest. And they, they don't like, they don't like, they don't play good. This is the only comic book movie that I think is truly outstanding. It's Watchmen. The action is amazing. The sex scene is a nice. I'm not saying it's deep, yeah? Although you do need a high IQ to get to, to see this. Rorschach, yeah? Huh? Rorschach? Dr. Manhattan? No! It's deep! <laughs> you get it. You, you, you can see. It's deep. <laughs> In Bruges is a movie where I don't think a lot of people can argue it's crap. It's funny. It's witty. It's sad. We retract that bit about my cunt fucking kids. Kick ass. And what I like about this one is that they weren't afraid to show some violence. Man, these Marvel movies are a bunch of pussies, man. Just show the blood. Show the squirt. If there's a cut by the blood, a squirt. Juvenile humor mixed with epic action, pop culture references in a good way, not like this ready player fuck. Science. Yes. I would say this is not really a horror movie. It's about aliens, yeah? It's with Mel Gibson, yeah? But the movie isn't about the aliens, it's about this family. The movie is funny, it's really funny. It's a drama about faith and believing in things without being obnoxious, I think. It's very eerie, it's got an eerie atmosphere, man. Forrest Gump? Come on. I think a lot of people don't like this movie. Is that true? If so, let me know. Forrest Gump is probably the only movie where when I watch it, I cannot not cry like a bitch in the end. And what I especially love about this one is how it retells a large part of American history, but always puts a little twist in it because Forrest Gump is somehow involved in everything that happened. It's so funny and so good and crafted so masterfully. Boy, 
And now, American Beauty. I don't know if it's still allowed to like this movie because of... <laughs> you figured the kingdom. I almost forgot this movie. Shaolin. This is one of the reasons that I went to Shaolin Temple. Just, if you decide to watch this movie, keep in mind that Chinese, Chinese acting is very exaggerated, very dramatic, awesome action, portrays certain Buddhist values very beautifully. Uh, the movie Life of Bai is really great. I, uh, I enjoy it, uh, especially the tiger, the CGI, but it's not only tiger is great, it's also that uh, the movie is actually an analogy on the believing in God and uh, what uh, is a reality and uh, do we like to believe uh, the, what we is is what is actually great is uh, that uh, we what uh, can can we is it is it the reality that's and now ladies and gentlemen are you ready This is the best movie ever made in my eyes. No one else I have ever met feels the same. When I show people this movie, they either say, yeah, it was pretty good, or they say, meh. It's not very famous. It's three hours long. But this movie touched me. <laughs> and you have to understand, this movie's number one. And then after that comes nothing, 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 Fortnite. And then nothing, 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 nothing. And then the other movies I just mentioned. I always do this with this movie. I overhype it. And then when people go out to see it, they're like, yeah, it was good, but not as good as he said. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you honestly how I feel. Because some of you are going to go out and watch it. And you're going to be like, nee, nee. <laughs> this movie means everything to me. The movie's called Magdal. Around eight people are in Los Angeles. The whole movie plays during one day. Eight stories, interconnected, raw emotion, truth. <coughs> and yeah, you're not going to like it like me. I don't know. Everyone has their special thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are the best movies of all time. You need a high IQ to get any of them. Rantoni out.